Hi, in this video we are going to look at how to use functions and modules in Python and also how to create our own functions to use in our programs. So in the Python language there are many different functions that are built in to the language um, that are used to perform specific tasks and we can call on those functions to perform those tasks without having to type out all the code um, to perform those tasks. We can just do it in one line of code by calling on that function. And we can also create our own functions too when we want to uh, reuse code within our program without having to type that code over and over and over again when we want to use those um, instructions in our code. We can again just call on a function. So to use a function you first have to type the function name and then specify any parameters that the function needs. Uh, and a parameter is any function, uh, sorry, any information that a function needs uh, in order to solve a problem. So to start off with, we'll just have a look at a couple of functions. Uh, then we'll look at how to use modules and then create our own functions. So as an example, um, if we were wanting to um, do some exponential calculations. So for example, we wanted to, in a variable, uh, find out what, five to the power of four is. We might type it like this. We might say five, asterisk, asterisk, or star, star, four. And then we could print out that result. And, uh, we can run that code. And we get the answer there. Now we can type it that way using these operators here, but we can also use a built-in function called power. To do that, we call the function, say power, and then inside brackets, we specify the parameters. And the parameters are the uh, base and the exponent. And each parameter is separated by a comma. So we can do five, comma, four, and then close those brackets. Now, some functions don't require any parameters at all. Some functions might take one parameter or more parameters. Um, and might have parameters that are optional. In this case here, we are specifying two parameters here, the base and the exponent. Okay, so now let's run that code again. And we get the same result. Now in this case, uh, we haven't really saved a lot of typing of code. Um, we've still used one line of code, but if for what we wanted to do, uh, we needed to type many lines of code, you can see how it would be much easier to just reuse that code by typing in one function name and specifying some parameters. Let's have a look at another example. In this example, we'll look at how to round uh, floats, round numbers. So let's say we have a number like 18.7 and we want to round that off. We can call on the round function. And here we just specify that parameter, the number, run the code, and that's rounded up to 19. Now, this function has at least one parameter that we have to specify, a number that we want to round. But it also has an optional parameter, which is the number of digits that we want to round to, or number of places. So we could lengthen this number here a little bit. We could say 18.7 five, two, six, one, three. And let's say we want to round that off to three places. Well, we can add that optional parameter by putting in a comma there, and then I'm going to say three. So now if we run this code, we see it's rounded off to three decimal places there. Okay, so those are a couple of examples of different um, functions. Now, these functions are ready to use in Python. We can just call on the function by specifying the name and the parameters. But some functions uh, aren't readily available to use in Python. And they belong to modules that we need to import. So modules are basically a collection of different, func different related functions. Um, functions like power and round that we've just used actually belong to the math module. And the math module is uh, readily available to use in Python, but only some modules are readily available to use. And the reason why that 
is the case is because um, we want to conserve memory. So not every single module that exists in Python is ready to use in order to conserve memory. Other modules need to be imported before you can use the functions that belong to those modules. And an example of that is the date time module. So we can use the date time module to um, display dates and times in different formats or to calculate um, different dates and times. Um, so if we want to use functions from that module, we need to import it first. So let's do that. And to do that, we say import and then the name of that module, which this one is date time. Then what we can do is use functions from that module. Um, and an example of one function from that module is the date time dot now function, which is basically used just to get the current date and time. So we'll create a variable here called date and say date equals date time dot date time dot now. And we don't need to specify any parameters here in these brackets. Now what I'll do is just print out that variable. So the value stored in this variable is going to be the result of calling this function here. Okay, so when we call this function, it's going to return the current date and time and store it in this variable here, and then we'll print it out. So let's run that code. And we see the current date and the current time displayed there. And there are other functions that we can use or other ways of using these functions to format the date in a different way, change the order, um, maybe shorten it, that kind of thing. All right, so that's an example of one module. There are lots of other modules, lots of other functions that we can use. Now what we're going to do is look at how to create our own functions. So we'll just uh, delete all that code here. So to create your own functions first, you need to define the function using the def or define keyword, so def. And then you need to give the function a unique name. So it's important that the name you give your function uh, isn't a name already used somewhere else in Python or um, the name of an existing function in Python. So for this example, I'm gonna create a function that's going to be used to calculate the area of a rectangle. So I'm just going to call the function area, give it a name that makes sense and describes what it does. Once you've given the function a name, you need to specify uh, any parameters and you specify those parameters inside brackets. Okay, and when you create a function, your function doesn't have to have parameters. It can have no parameters. It could have one parameter or it could have many parameters. It's still important though to put these brackets here, even if your function isn't going to take in any parameters. Uh, if you do have parameters though, specify them in the brackets and if you've got more than one parameter, you separate them using commas. So to start off with, I'm going to create this area function with no parameters at all. So I'll just say area, open, close brackets, and then a colon, hit return, and now indented uh, underneath that line of code there is going, it is where I'm going to add the instructions for this function. So I can uh, have many lines of code here that belong to this function. So whenever I call this function, it's going to run all of those lines of code. But really, all I'm going to have here for now is just one line of code. And what that'll do is print the area of a rectangle. So I, um, in this case, I'm just going to specify some random values. So I'm going to say that. Um, the length is 10 and the width is 5. So I'm going to say print 10 multiplied by 5. Now hit return and then backspace so I'm no longer indented on that function. And that's the end of my function. Now to use this function, I simply just call it. So I can say area, open close brackets. All right, so when you call a function, it's important that you have those brackets there. Um, if there are no parameters, you just leave the brackets empty. If the function does take parameters and you want to provide values for those parameters, then um, you put them inside the brackets. So I'm going to call on that function now to use it. And we should see the result displayed there, which it is. Okay, now 
when you're creating functions, uh, it's really a good idea to make those functions as reusable as possible. So let's say in my program, I want to be able to uh, calculate the area of lots of different shapes, lots of different rectangles. And I want to reuse this function over and over again, but for different rectangles of different sizes. Well, I don't really want to use this instruction here over and over again, because I'm not always going to have rectangles of this size. So what I can do instead is specify parameters. So I'm going to put the parameters here inside these brackets where I define the function. And I'm going to give them meaningful names like length and width. So each parameter is separated by a comma. Now in this function, I can say print length width inside this print statement here. Now when I call this function, I can specify values for these parameters. And those values are called arguments. So when you are defining a, uh, a function and you're, you're defining um, variables that are gonna be used within that function, those are called parameters. When you actually use the function, the values that are passed into the function are called arguments, arguments for parameters. So here I might say 10 comma five. Those are my two arguments, length and width. We'll get the same result as before, 50. But we can reuse this code. So I'm going to copy and paste that a few times and I'm going to change the numbers. Okay, so that function is reusable with different rectangles of different sizes. But it's only reusable in one way. And that is that what we're doing when we calculate the area is we're printing it straight away. We're displaying the results straight away. But what if we wanted to calculate the area of rectangle and maybe use that result in different ways? What if sometimes we wanted to print it to the screen, other times we just wanted to store the result in a variable to use later, or maybe we want to enter it into a database, or maybe use it in another calculation before we print it to the screen. Well, what we can do is make this function only do the one instruction that it's meant to do, and that's calculate the area. And then when we use that function or call on that function, we can then uh, use it in different ways and we can specify whether we want to print a result or just store it in a variable. So let's look at how to do that now. The way that we do that is we use a return statement. So rather than saying print inside the function, and say return, length multiplied by width. And we don't need brackets there. So when we return a value from a function, we can then uh, store that result in a variable or maybe use it in another function or statement like a print statement. So here, I'm just gonna get rid of these two other examples. I'm gonna store the result in a variable called result. So result equals area 10 comma five. What that will do is call this function area, pass in the, uh, these arguments for the parameters length and width. So it'll pass in 10 and five. It's going to multiply 10 by five and then return that value back to here where we called the function and store it in this result variable. All right, so saving that function, um, we can run the code. We won't see anything yet though, because all that we've done is store the result in a variable. So now we can print the result if we want to and see it here. The other thing that we can do is if we just wanted to print the result straight away, well, we could just put it straight, that function called straight inside a print statement. So we say print, inside those brackets, we're calling that function and specifying the parameters. So you can see that there's lots of different ways of using this function now because we've used a return statement. We're not um, limiting this function to only be used in one way and to print the result. We can now store the result in a variable, we can print it later, we can do whatever we want with it at the time that we use the function. So that's basically how to use different functions and modules in Python 
and how to create your very own functions to use within your programs. That's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.